I have been investing in Bitcoin for the last three years and this waiting game is getting to my nerves. I'm pissed off because the price is not moving higher. We waited till the halving, it was a big event, but after that, crickets, nothing has happened. We're going down a bit or we go up to 70,000 and we get rejected. We go up to 68,000 and we go down again. And now we're trading at 59,000 just before 60. And my patience has been tested. It's getting on my nerves. Many people, I believe, are in the same situation. We cannot wait until Bitcoin explodes in price. It has done so in multiple cycles already. But man, every single day, it's excruciating. I'm looking at my apps and looking at the prices going down or sideways or not doing anything. And I'm like, what? What's going on? What's waiting for? Why it's not moving? And right now, I think it's just a patient thing. You just need to wait. I have my positions already in place. Today, I just bought a little bit of Bitcoin and Solana again, as I do now every two weeks, three weeks. I haven't been doing it frequently now because I the core of my positions is already in. But man, this is getting long. It's painful. Everybody's waiting for it, but nothing seems to move the price. The ETFs are buying except Grayscale. Then we get Mongox news that brings the price down or Genesis that brings the price down or some kind of government moving coins and selling coins and brings the price down. But what I noticed recently is that a lot of entities have reported being accumulating micro strategy or the ETFs and companies are adding micro strategy also to their um, balance sheet or they have been buying ETFs and adding them to their balance sheet or they have copied exactly microseller and they have raised money to buy actual Bitcoin and add it to their balance sheet. So there's a lot of buying from a lot of people behind the scenes quietly and it's trickling down, it may not have the same impact or it's not covered that much with news because usually we get the news three months after they actually do these actions. So there's a delay in there, always. Microsoft is preparing a $2 billion purchase of Bitcoin. It's coming, it's gonna happen soon, or it's already partially happened because they're uh, buying over the counter so there's a lot of buying going on I bought today because it's just under $60,000 it's still a good price to buy my limit is 70,000 or near the all-time high and after that I will stop buying I will just wait and analyze the market to start detecting when the top will happen but I'm not expecting the top to happen until June, July of 2024. That's my thesis. And it could and it could also be longer than that. I'm also analyzing altcoin season that could come at the end of 2025 as the real altcoin season. Keep in mind that from now, August 2024 until July of 2025, Bitcoin will go up. Ethereum will go up, Solana will go up, meme coins will go up, all crypto will go up because Bitcoin will pull everybody up. But the leader until July 2025 will be Bitcoin. And after that, Bitcoin profits will take place. So people will start selling Bitcoin, selling Ethereum and selling Solana, take those profits and dump them in meme coins and very volatile assets. And that's when we see the real altcoin season, where we can see uh, 25x, 50x, 100x in a very short period of time. Or half of those gains will come from the pool from Bitcoin. And then 
the other 50% of the gains come in a very narrow window post the peak of Bitcoin. That's what usually has happened in the last two cycles. Will it happen now? We will see. Now that we have the ETFs, many people are saying that the bear market, if there's any, will be very, very less red than usual because there's going to be constant buying by the ETFs in the range of $100 million every few days. So that will potentially absorb any selling that people will make. We will see. We will follow the charts and see how it will behave. But I know it's been frustrating. It's been extremely long. I cannot wait until this thing starts moving. I am at the end of my first four full cycle. I have not seen this exponential phase from the base, meaning from the real base post having i have never lived that truly and that's why my patient has been tested and i'm sure many newer investors are asking themselves what's going on and also i have seen veterans who have gone through one full cycle two full cycles and even three full cycles that their patient also has been tested many are thinking well, what's going on? We got an all-time high earlier before the halving, and now we're stuck here below 60,000, longer than usual compared to what's happening in previous cycles. So will we get the explosion, or have we topped already, and now we're going to correct hard downwards? Many people are questioning everything right now. It's normal. We're humans. It's not because something happened in two cycles in the past that it will happen again but the characteristics of bitcoin have not changed the supply has not changed in august of 2024 we have lost a lot more coins than four years ago so there's less supply four years ago we didn't have the etfs we didn't have big entities buying bitcoin we didn't have companies buying bitcoin constantly as we have seen in the news recently but there's also new entities that are selling bitcoin so the market is growing but it's still a very small market not a lot of people know about bitcoin a lot more people know about it but the total number of investors of bitcoin is very limited we are still extremely early so the entities that have a lot of bitcoin can play games still with the price but that should change in the upcoming cycle when we have a bigger distribution of coins with a lot more individuals and companies and funds and uh, ETFs and maybe countries that will have Bitcoin in their balance sheet. So the more the coins are distributed among many entities the less volatile it will get, and it's going to be a lot more stable. But people will still continue to lose coins. Very small investors will still panic in certain regions of the price action of Bitcoin. So there's going to be opportunities to grab cheap coins throughout its life for the upcoming 10 years, 20 years. So trading of Bitcoin will continue. I'm extremely confident that the price will go up to the right but how this cycle will behave to the previous ones this cycle will probably give us an indication of what to expect in the next one who is four years from now four years and a half from now so we should be ready and i think the market is going to be huge in four years it's going to be impressive Keep your coins, do not sell them because they're going to be extremely valuable, not only in a year from now, but also five, four years from now. It's going to get extremely difficult to accumulate one Bitcoin. So if you get to that level, you will be set for life, for your kids if you have kids, for your family if you donate that to or just distribute that throughout your family to keep it for the upcoming generations. 
not a lot of people have $60,000 right now to get one Bitcoin. Imagine when that price is $100,000 or $200,000, it's going to get more complicated. Only individuals who have assets and know that they need to invest in assets to protect their buying power right now will have eventually available cash to buy Bitcoin when we get big corrections if we ever get some. But now is the time to study Bitcoin, to learn its characteristics, to know how it trades in order to exploit that and sell near the tops and buy near the bottoms. And that's the only way to accumulate and grab as, as many cheap coins as you can because they're going to be extremely valuable. So for now, on the daily chart, we see the, that we are in that support trend line upwards. We just got this dead cross here who trigger potentially this correction up to 49,000. But we are near 60,000 right now. And I believe that the corrections are pretty much done. We are far away from the halving and very close to the exponential phase based on previous cycles. So I believe that we may have maybe one small correction, but it shouldn't be a big deal. And now the MA50 should turn and we'll get a golden cross here. But usually before the golden cross, we get already a price movement upwards a little bit like we see here. You see here, the MA50 is still below when we get got this huge jump in price from 27,000 up to 30,000. And after that, we went from 30,000 to 33,000 just before the golden cross. So we could have a 5,000 jump very quickly before we get to the golden cross. And that 65,000 or maybe even close to 70,000 so this could happen very, very soon. Just hold on, be patient. It's just a matter of days and weeks now. We are getting signals that this boring, excruciating long period for Bitcoin is over or it's getting near the end. You always have to zoom out to see what has happened in the last year and what has happened since January of 2024. Well, in January, we were at 44,000 and we are now at 60,000. So it's already a nice price of gains. But if you got near the bottom, which was 15,000, that was in November of 2022, in the middle of the bear market, and you're looking at 60,000. I was buying on the way down here. I bought at the bottom here. I continue buying all the way up here, up to this level. So I did some buying in this window here in the bear market, and I have profits on my position. We have not seen the explosion in price in this cycle that is here. Potentially, we are near the top here. We are in this zone right now, and this is what's coming. So do you want to miss this part of the bull run? No, I don't want to. And that's why I'm protecting my coins. I'm not using leverage, and I'm just waiting to see the explosion now. It's just a patient game right now. It's extremely frustrating. I hate it. I can tell you that right now. It's not fun. But it's coming and it's part of investing when you are putting your money in a disruptive industry like Bitcoin. Once you know the power of the asset, the toughest thing that you need to do is be patient and wait until the value is created. And right now, it's the longest waiting game that we have seen in a while. Obviously, the bear market here was no fun at all but at least you were buying cheap Bitcoin and accumulating, but now it's time to make money and it's coming and we are just a few weeks away. So be patient, everybody. It's coming and 
we will see this value creation in this cycle like potentially like we have never seen before and FOMO's coming in as soon as we hit $100,000 in my opinion it could get crazy very fast let's see how exciting it gets hope you enjoyed this video be patient be strong keep your coins and we'll make money in the end of 2024 and mid and three quarters of 2025. See you all on the next video.